my name is Theo Alexander. I'm a composer from London, currently based in Prague in the Czech Republic. And I've just completed a month long residency with Britain Piers Arts and the Art Station. So one of the things I wanted to do with this piece was to move from working solo. I work solo very, very frequently to something which is more collaborative and more open and work in an entirely new format. So what I've put together this month is something along the lines of an installed composition, which utilizes you know, not just a score and music and performers, but also the space itself and movement. So in this piece, there are two performers who are moving across eight different stations and the score is spread across each station and they have to move to each one in order to find the part that they are going to perform. One of the things I was thinking about when I wrote this piece was the development of early weather prediction technology and early computers in the mid to late 1940s and early 1950s. I really wanted to explore this idea of a quite complete control over things, specifically with the rise of weather prediction and computers. There seemed to be this idea that there could be ever more precise control over the environment and what I wanted to integrate in the piece was a kind of fallacy of control where there's these elements which can sort of be predicted but they're different every time so you're always struggling to control what you're dealing with and the performers are under a kind of pressure to respond to what they're hearing on the cassette recorders in order to perform their part accurately. So I was quite interested in getting this tension between something which is reliably there but it occurs to you in a slightly varied form each time. The piece also uses tape recorders. I've been working with tape recorders since around 2016, but this is quite a new way of working with them for me. So there's a tape recorder at each station and a quite simple chord sequence for six voices is split across each tape recorder. So each tape recorder takes care of a different part and because they're all activated at different times and the tapes are dubbed individually, um, they're kind of slowly falling out of sync with each other. So the, the content is always the same, but whenever it's played or performed, it's always a little bit different too. So I guess it's sort of like a semi-chance element to this piece. One of the things that I was hoping for this piece is that I could start to slowly move away or kind of expand the spaces in which it's performed. So traditionally in a concert hall, it would be on a stage in front of an audience. But what I really wanted was for this to be in a place where the audience could walk around it, maybe even be within it at certain points, because no matter where you are, it's gonna sound very, very different because not only are the performers moving, but each station, depending on where you are, will add a different emphasis to the music. So I was very interested in taking this outside of traditional music settings and putting it into very unconventional places. <laughs> 